okay, so this was my morning activation. I did not want it to go too hard on planche because uh, I don't feel uncomfortable, but uh, maybe a bit sore, whatever. Did not want it to push myself on planche too much. So I'm going to take you in my garage uh, in maybe, yeah, six hours, something. Maybe less, five. Um, going to eat something, reply to my students, and um, and yeah, that will be a day, I think. <sighs> don't know what I'm going to do during the workout, don't have a specific idea, but I hope the sound will be fine, because there is a lot of echo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun, let's go. Okay guys, we are the 23, I think, yeah? And we're going to freaking train, but today we're going to train in my garage. So it's going to be short, training, very intense, and uh, yeah. Okay, so now we are installed, we have everything, so I like this place because it's not cold and I'm alone and I can do my stuff. Problem is that uh, I live in Bulgaria, so I don't understand what people say. So if someone tell me to go away or something, I will not understand, unless he speaks English, of course. And uh, there is cars that come uh, every so often. So there is a lot of noise and shit and it smells bad also. So it's not ideal, it's not the best, but that's what we have. And we should work with what we have. Um, it's not late, it's 4.30, 4.50 something. Uh, and we're going to start, so we have all the equipment. We have my little chairs to do supinated finger. We have front lever bar, we have low bars that I can put on the little chair to do mid high bars. But I won't push up on that because uh, it's too, um, unstable but at least we can and my normal bars so let's start <sighs> trying to not touch the ground too much but at one point I'll just touch the ground so yeah it's very dirty and, and horrible when I finish my workout after my feet are black and it's not uh, it's not very cool so I don't want to do leans I'm going to do little tuck push-ups because now I can with my little with my little setup so it's not the <laughs> it's not the best setup ever but you can work with that. Okay, that's not too bad. Next one, we'll do a little planche directly. Right now, I'm going to do these movements for my forearms, wrist, thumbs, etc., for two minutes. And I come back to you after, yeah, two minutes something. Yeah, so I lied. I said I would do like stretches of forearms and so I did not do anything. I just sat and, and, and zone out. So um, let's do a little planche with this setup. Should not be too hard. Problem is that there is no grip on the bars. So to close your hand, it's a little difficult, but uh, it's always possible. Do I touch the ceiling? I hope not.
So yeah, what's good with these bars is that you can't put too much pressure like that because otherwise the bar is going to... So you, you need to have a good control. It's very good. I like it very much. Because it's forced you to be as high as you can. And, uh, and planche height is very important. Okay, let's go for a little... Uh... Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to try. Basically, it's an old warm-up I was doing before. You try to not put any false grip, like zero false grip. And you try to pull to touch. It's pretty good. It's not, uh, not the best, but I remember I was doing that before. What I like to do though, what I really like to do is take a very heavy elastic band. So my elastics are from 10X, my sponsor. I take a very heavy elastic band, put it there, like that. Up. And I just, just pull. I don't know if you heard my shoulder pop. It's a very intense pull. It's, it, it should not last too long. It's just to activate the, the traps in the back in general, just to feel this pinch. Anyway, okay. So next one will be maybe a little planche combo or something, and then a little front combo, and then we will start. So about this first planche set, it did not feel too bad. It felt actually very good. Like, um, I don't know what to say, but sometimes you just feel very connected to what you're doing and everything was very easy. The push work was easy, the transition felt smooth. It's very cool. I'm sorry, I have a hiccup. Um, we're going to try a front lever now. It's not the best to do a very intense combo at the beginning. It's better to have a progressive during your, your training. But I know I have like three, three combos as intense as that. So it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Let's just see if Front Lever is, uh, is with us today. And if yes, it will be a very, very, very good session. I feel very uh, there, present. Damn, it looks very dramatic. Wait, I'm going to go there. <laughs> it looks very, very fucking dramatic. Uh, so yeah, I did two sets of planche, one set of front so far. So the next one will be a set of front. I like to alternate. If I'm not doing big combos with front and planche, I like to alternate between planche, front. But 
Of course, it's fine to do planche, planche, front, front. It's not a problem. So in the comment of the last uh, vlog, I've seen people asking for why I'm not training my legs. I don't think it's relevant to speak about this very, 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 very low IQ subject. And um, I've seen also other questions that were mildly interesting. I don't know. Like you have the opportunity to ask everything, every question, and you choose to ask what's my height and what's my, what's my uh, uh, weight. I think it's, uh, I don't know. It's like uh, you, you can speak to, to a correct athlete, like a pretty strong athlete, and you're asking him what's his uh, favorite uh, uh, pair of sock. You see what I mean? I don't know, I think there is more interesting question to be asked. Uh, that's why I'm going to do a Q&A very soon. But it's most likely going to be a question that I'm going to ask myself. Uh, because otherwise, if I ask you a question, guys, it will be... Uh, uh, are you five foot three or five foot four? See, it's not going to be very interesting. But I'm sure there is some interesting question, but the knowledgeable people already have the answers, so they are not going to ask me questions. Whatever. I'm interested to see uh, how high my stress levels will be after a training where I'm speaking, because when I don't speak, it's very easy to, to get in your bubble and get uh, like high levels of stress. So I think that speaking will make me feel better at the end of the training. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do in front lever. The best would be to do spam, but I really don't like it. So, I'm not really sure of what's going to happen. Anyway, let's go. So to continue a little with what I was saying, I think that most people are not strong, first of all because they are lazy, but also because they are not asking themselves the good questions. They think that uh, a particular brand of Paralyte is going to make them stronger, or they think that I don't know, the, the rest period between their set is going to change everything, or they think that there is a secret exercise that is going to completely break the cycle or I don't know. None of that exists. The only thing that exists is you in a room with whatever you have, doing whatever you can to reach whatever is your goal. The car is there. That's all I have to say. As the end of it, I've been doing some one and sense and stuff. Maybe if I manage to do one last after that, I'll post it just after that. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting and supporting me. It's hard to keep the, the reason going. So I'll, I'll keep going, but know that I'm making zero money with that. Like uh, I don't make any money with that. 
I'm just doing it for the for you guys and uh, just to to see my progress also, but more for you than for me. That's for sure. Anyway, uh, take care of you guys, and uh, maybe you'll see a good one I'm instant just after. And if you see nothing, then I failed. See you.